Uh, hey everybody, this is Retro Care, Retro Care Reviews, doing a retro news on uh, some late-breaking stuff and my quick thoughts of the Dexter revival. Uh, let's just get the obvious uh, news out of the way first. Uh, Kevin Alexander Clark, who some don't remember, uh, but I do because he was in the School of Rock uh, movie, uh, was unfortunately passed away due to a accident a few days ago. Uh, a lot of people in the cast, uh, including Jack himself, uh, Jack Black obviously, uh, made some very heartful stuff, um, heartfelt, sorry. Um, can you tell I just broke up? Anyway, um, they said some nice things about the guy um, throughout um, uh, the years after the movie was released. Uh, for those who don't know, I'm a big school rock fan when it was new. Uh, never really got around to watching the show that came after. Um, the cast always had a good time, you know, doing reunions and stuff. Uh, I think some of them played live shows eventually. Um, I don't know every single uh, character, actor by name. Uh, some actually got out of the game altogether, and some actually got arrested. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, for the broad strokes, uh, Miranda Cosgrove, who was also from the iCarly series, which, by the way, I never watched. Uh, turns out, uh, <laughs> I guess going back to Snapcube, uh, they did a really nice uh, fan dub of... Uh, one of the episodes i'll leave a link there if you guys want to see that um yeah uh she also came out they uh, like most of the cast are going to say some nice things about kevin um i won't get into the specifics of how it happened um i'll leave the uh uh rolling stone article down below for if you want the specifics uh with all that said normally this will be the part where i just do a moment of silence for kevin's behalf but on behalf of the family and stuff uh and that i also had a family incident uh, myself, uh, with my father's passing earlier this year, uh, the best I can do for this scenario right now is to say my condolences, and I still do the moment of silence, and, uh, hopefully, uh, next week, uh, hopefully Monday or Tuesday, I'm gonna do a tribute, uh, uh, re uh, review, uh, retro review of the movie, because it was actually really good, I did like that when it was new, when I was, like, when I was a teenager back when it was, like, coming out, I think, like, 06, 05, um, my bad exactly, um, that being said, happy 15 years, which was under good terms, um, that all being said, um, that also put a damper on what I was probably planning to do with my father's birthday, uh, he, his birthday was always, like, September 22nd, also came out the same day as Madness Combat Day, I, I used to be a Madness Combat guy, long story short, uh, for anyone who wants to know my Newgrounds origins, um, yeah, um, I'll probably, um, I'll find something, uh, that, uh, Dad would have, would, would love to see me review someday, uh, and, um, I'll leave that, uh, for future, you know, stuff, uh, coming in the fall, so with that all said, uh, moment of silence right now, and, uh, we'll get to the Dexter stuff. We'll miss you, Kevin. So, uh, with that all said, uh, what are my thoughts on the Dexter Revival slash Season 9 slash I actually planned out a actual, uh, kayfabe for the whole thing, figures-wise, that unfortunately this news just put a damper on. Um, I was gonna announce this again if we were doing the figure kayfabe, if for those who are new to my channel, I basically just do a bunch of, like, figure stuff, uh, kind of like Marvel and DC for those who are new to my channel and for those who are new to my channel and have never seen Hyper Marvel Hyper and DC uh go to their video there he did another uh I guess uh upload a thon of like some new material totally worth it anyway long long time ago I did do that same figure style for my overall series uh review of uh Dexter when it was new when the final uh final episodes were dropping uh, I can't even believe I'm saying this. Eight years ago, my God, it's been that long. <laughs> but um, yeah, Michael C. Hall. Um, I guess going with the whole, I guess classic rock vibes. Actually, did some decent um uh, Broadway work, uh, doing a David Bowie piece uh, before he passed in 2016, and apparently has been doing a bunch of benefit concerts uh, whenever Bowie's birthday was around uh, that year. And um, he can sing definitely nowadays. Not so much when the when the album was new. So. Uh, Dexter stuff, let's just get back to that. Um, I don't know why he's doing it. I, I, I've been trying to figure in my head why Michael would come back to this character after all this time. Um, 
I also would like to uh, basically get into the specifics of stuff that happened prior to the show. Um, I don't know. Like, to make a long story short, uh, I'm not going to be doing a retro review of the series because, one, I am actually am rewatching it now on Amazon Prime. Um, also, I have absolutely no idea what to do uh, when I get to the final seasons. Uh, I will say, like everyone who has said uh, this when it came to the original show proper, the first four seasons are the best seasons. After the Attorney Killer season, it's all downhill from here. And I can tell you that even when I was doing the overview back when it was new. Um, as for the extra teasers themselves, uh, cards or any of them at this point, um, they look good. Um, the first teaser hit harder, honestly. It did what any Dexter teaser would do. Just hype the stakes of where uh, Dexter's been in a certain point in his life. Um, also, I might... I don't know. Uh, I'm thinking on the fly, because you can tell here uh, with this vlog. But um, I haven't really got around to watching or reading the book series uh, based on Dexter, because it turns out that wrapped up right around 2015. And I think I don't know exactly if this is the same kind of scenario you got with uh, Game of Thrones fans nowadays, if the books will actually you know tie up stuff that the show couldn't do. Um, I don't know that. I haven't read the books themselves, let alone the final books of that particular author. Also, for his cover name, um, I think I've checked the comment section uh, for, I think, the second teaser. I think he named himself after the author, finally. Um, I could be wrong. Uh, that's a lot of stuff on the side. Also, going back to Michael, this is really more Michael focus than show focus because the show sounds like it's going to be okay. It's a 10-episode limited series. Uh, it's still going to be on Showtime. Uh, for those who still have Showtime, I don't know where internationally uh, you'll, you normally would see the show. Um... If anything, um, it'll probably be weekly on international Netflix. Uh, again, I might need VPN to double confirm that. That all being said, uh, yeah, Michael has a bit of a history of having ex-wives uh, and all of them ending on good terms. And uh, again, I deep dive into his wiki while I was trying to do a proper retro review that I might may or may not cancel. Don't quote me on that, honestly. Uh, Honestly, I don't know much about, you know, celebrity sexuality and stuff like that, especially now winding down for mental health and all that stuff. Uh, getting to the point, I think he's bi. I was going to try to use that uh, as a weird way to, like, walk into a, a Pride-specific review, but I'm not going to do that because I have no clue uh, how to navigate that kind of scenario, uh, lifestyle, so my bad in advance for Michael's family and all that. And, um, yeah, uh, again, if I was doing the figures right now, I'd be doing, like, a weird hype build-up to saying, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna do a retro review of Cyber 6, because that also got on Prime, I think, uh, late, uh, last year, and, uh, been wanting to get around to review it. Um, that'll be my Pride Tribute, uh, review, in case anyone wants to know. So, all the announcements of my future retro reviews aside... Uh, I think the teasers did what they wanted to do. They focused exactly what I wanted to see. Where Dexter's been after all this time hiding out in Canada. Uh, I don't know where exactly in character. Uh, I would say in Canada because I would be like trying to like geograph the whole thing. I don't know. Probably find a way to like get Doctor Terawatt to do a voices and cameo. Hi Connor, uh, Connell. In case you're in case you're looking at uh, looking at this vlog on your Discord. Hi. Um, that all being said, um, I think the revival is gonna be okay. It'll probably hopefully in the first coming episodes at least try to address any of the criticism that happened with that uh, series finale and if that works hopefully other uh shows that bombed their series finales could follow suit i doubt that immensely but at the very least at the most just do a decent 10-hour movie do what you need to do to close out the character finally at the very least have some closure not tease another season please that's all i ask um so yeah, uh, what did you think of all the news I just addressed here on my retro news, from uh, the Kevin, uh, Kevin Alexander Clark news to the now Dexter revival? Let me know in the comments down below. Hit the notification bell down below for any of these future retro reviews that I'm going to be doing. Um, and that all being said, edit card's finally coming up to my long overdue, uh, not spiral review, but my Falcon Orange Soldier review uh, with uh, Red Rob. Uh, he, I contacted him before I uploaded the video. He was very help. He was very uh, cool with the whole. Thing. He was very patient, and I thank you very much for that, uh, Red Rob. If you are watching us, thanks, man. Seriously. Uh, other hand here to my Army of the Dead review as Jason. 
And yeah, as Jason normally would do, he overhypes Zack Snyder projects. I'm trying to like go back to caricaturing him and uh, probably did it for the good reasons because yeah, I uh, watched the Red Letter Media review and yeah, it turns out he Zack Snyder copied a lot of uh, homework from James Cameron when it comes to Aliens references. I kind of saw it even in character as Jason with the whole zombie land stuff with the opening and I had a feeling it was going to go down that way. That also said, uh, shirt here to uh, sub the channel. Um, that all being said, I'm Rich Care, Rich Care Reviews. And, uh, yeah, Michael, you really had to go back to that dark pasture, huh? A lot of mental, uh, the long story short when it comes to Dexter, he's a really good monologue guy. And Michael Seal is a decent voice actor. Weird as it sounds. Yes, uh, also previous video, uh, if I don't have the time for, uh, when I did that, um, Justice League, uh, review. I forgot the name of the movie. Wow. Elseworlds. What are you going to do, huh?